Hello beautiful souls, this is Art of Awakening, so welcome to, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy, although heads up, I may have a name change coming up soon, I'm feeling into that. But uh, regardless, thanks so much for watching and glad you could join me today. This is just a little bit of an energy update. I am recording this on the evening of May 9th and this is... A painting of, I guess who, Archangel Michael, which is based on a sketch that was done about a year and a half ago. And it's been sort of, just sort of waiting. I knew at some point I'd paint it. I thought maybe I'd do a mural, but, uh, and that may happen at some point, but this may actually be a preliminary sketch, painting sketch for, for a mural. We'll see. Um, but anyway, it was a, a sketch that somebody that I know has and sent me a picture of. And this reason I had it on here before um, is that it's on my phone and that's what I'm recording on. So anyway, the reason I'm, I'm starting with Michael here is that I'm getting a couple of different themes for the energy right now and I'm just gonna really focus on one of them although I just want to be clear that they're both coming up strong and I'll probably do another video on the second theme sometime soon but the two themes are actually I tell you about the second one first because I think it's maybe the first one I'm feeling the child the child archetype coming up uh, you know, the child rising in the collective. And that is coming up in a lot of ways. Coming up as birthing kind of imagery. Because I do feel like we do have a certain amount of reconciliation that is happening between masculine and feminine in the parts of the collective. And that is, of course, enabling or giving rise to this, this child sort of energy. So the birthing theme is coming forward. And it could be a birthing of something, you know, a birthing of, of the inner self, the, the, the true self coming up out of the ashes of the ego. So there's a certain amount of phoenix kind of vibe to this. But I am seeing really the focus on the child self. And it can be assisting with the child coming forward. It can be um, protection of the child. And that leads into the second theme here that I'm going to be talking about. Or it could actually just be the inner child coming forward. And that has to do a lot with the frequencies of joy, uh, playfulness. Innocence is a big one. Innocence. And in a sense, that's what's leading us into the second topic here, because innocence is easily preyed upon. And so whenever we've got it, but the thing is that it's innocence that it's, that's our natural, you know, that's the, the nature is innocent, right? Um, you know, things aren't always pretty in nature, but underlying it all, it's a certain innocence. It's like, there's, there's nothing really evil about nature, even if it is sometimes brutal. <laughs> That makes sense. So the return, the, the return to the inner child is a, a very important part of this return to our na natural state, to, to innocence, um, which is this whole idea of returning to Eden, right? Returning to a state of innocence. Um, so it's, it's exciting stuff. But the thing is that for innocence, to be sustainable, it's got to be protected. And that's why animals, you know, protect their young so ferociously. 
That's because, you know, it's that innocence that the young possess and it, it, it makes them vulnerable. Okay, there's a, there's a vulner vulnerability. So we've got a lot of things coming forward. Um, and like I said, I will talk a little bit more about the child, but what I really want to focus on is the second theme, which does have to do with protection. And that is the theme of like the, um, the legions being activated. The mobilization of the forces of light. And I am seeing that coming up very strongly, which is why it feels like this is the time to we'll bring this Michael image forward. So this, I've been feeling this for a while, but a few weeks back I got this just very, very strong transmission from the Syrians and it was weird for me because I'd never had that before this was new for me like it, it wasn't really new because I connected them before but sort of unconsciously I wasn't even aware of it but this time it was quite conscious and you know, they connected and they had me doing light language which is something that I've never done before and always felt a little kind of like weird about it. It's like this light white language stuff didn't make, it kind of made sense to me, but, <laughs> but then, you know, you go in this process and you find yourself doing things that you thought were weird <laughs> shortly before and they feel perfectly normal. So there's all this light language coming in and I got this very clear message that there were Syrian reinforcements on the way and they came singing in formation. It was beautiful. It was like something had happened in the collective that was sort of like released them to be able to come to our assistance. And I think it was like we had to reach a certain level of maturity because they weren't allowed to come and just swoop us off and save our butts, right? Um, we had to step up for ourselves. But once we reached a certain level of stepping up for ourselves, then they're allowed to come in and assist, you know, be there as reinforcements. So that's what came forward. And it was just like I could feel that there was this wave of just Syrian reinforcement on the way. This was several weeks ago, and I believe that really did come through. Um, But I, I'm getting just a lot, a lot, a lot around activating and mobilizing the forces. And so what does that mean? Well, partially it's, I think it's really less about benevolent alien, whatever, <laughs> alien races coming to our rescue. It's really not coming to our rescue. It's mobilizing our own forces of light and I know personally, since I was a very small child, I always felt like I was, well, maybe not that small, I don't remember how old I was, but it felt like I was waiting for something. I certainly, by the time I was a teenager, I just had this sense of, I'm waiting for something, but I didn't know what it was. And it was sort of like, you know, I just knew that I was waiting for something. And in the past few years, in this awakening process, I've come to realize, well, yeah, I'm here to assist with this whole ascension of Mother Earth. That much is clear. And, you know, just kind of following the guidance, doing what I'm being asked to do. But it seemed like it, some, it just was being held back in a lot of ways. And it almost felt like, you know, I was being held back until the time was right. And I just, just very recently, it's just, I'm getting the very clear message, the time is right, right now. And I'm seeing just a huge amount of mobilization in the Lightworker Collective. Um, a lot of 
manifestation happening like things are finally it's like it's like the orders have been given like we've all been waiting around for orders <laughs> and that that order has been issued and it's like now we're free to go forward and this is a certain soul track because some people have been you know doing their stuff and, and really moving forward for a long time but i think others of us have been just sort of held back um so there's this feeling of you know people are light workers are increasingly getting those orders and you know you'll know when you get yours that it's you've got the the go ahead the green light to move forward and because you know you will have reached that certain level or if you haven't yet it'll be like suddenly given to you suddenly given to you you know whether it's um you're going to work with this person and they're going to you know accelerate your path forward or you'll be going to be given divine revelation and your path will suddenly open up uh or you'll connect with a dragon or something or you know even it might be even more kind of a mundane 3d kind of stuff maybe suddenly like you get the job that you've been wanting and all of a sudden your life changes um but whatever it is i think for a, a large number of us it's going to be like if it hasn't happened already or it is happening or it will happen very soon is that you're suddenly going to be like oh i'm on my path i'm doing it right it's it's time it's time to really move forward and so this this of course is going to come with change and change <laughs> It's always scary. If you watched my last video, I talked a lot about that. Um, so, so yeah, if you're going through a lot of changes, uh, maybe tune into my last video. It's on the five five portal, and uh, if you haven't seen that yet, because that that has some guidance for you. Um, but what I wanted to talk about this time around was has to do with uh, more the mobilization of forces and the concept of the legions of light. Okay, so now it feels to me like we are moving from a, a period of time where there's a lot of individual awakening going on, and we're still gonna see that. We're gonna see that for many, several, many years for a while yet. Um, lots of individuals awakening, individual journeys happening um you know people getting this point but it feels to me like this is this turning point where there's a lot of um we're, we're starting to come together and it's 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 going to be increasingly the light worker collective moving together and um awakening and and helping to ascend ascending together and assisting uh gaia assisting mother earth in ascending um it, it, so it's this concept of coming together that's huge. Now, for the past several years, like the past three or four years, um, like I keep getting this message, light workers need to come together. But now it's like, oh man, is it time? Okay, light workers need to come together. Okay, so locally here, I started a meetup group that just gets light, light, local light workers together. It's called the Marquette Light Workers Collective. If you are in the Marquette, Michigan area, definitely drop in. It's we've got monthly meetings every second Wednesday, and it's a really great way. What's been happening is that it's bringing masses of us up us light workers at least in our area it's a really small area so <laughs> for us like 40 people is a mess but um but it will be happening in in much larger groups more increasingly from now on i believe um but when masses of us get together we activate each other for one which is huge so that's really going to be um accelerating the ascension process and for another thing Okay, so not only do we activate each other just by being each other's presence, um, but we also start exchanging ideas, and that's like massive ac activation. And we start collaborating with each other, and um, you know, all this stuff starts to happen. It really does 
create a, a, an incredible effect. And even just getting all of those very, you know, um, beautifully, beautiful energies together in one space is, it's very powerful. And it just creates a powerful energy, just that. So even if we didn't do anything else, even if we just sat in the room and did nothing and not even meditated, just sat there, um, it would be having a big impact. Um, but I think, you know, when we're actually consciously um, meditating together or learning together, sharing ideas, exchanging concepts, exchanging experiences, um, healing each other, um, it really, it's huge. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's one thing that really wanted to be relayed here is this concept of if you're feeling isolated, because I think a lot of light workers have been feeling quite isolated, especially, you know, if you live in an area where, you know, you may not know other people with the same kind of worldview, you know, if you say, you know, mention star seed and people look at you like you're crazy and it makes you sort of not want to mention it, but I think it's really important for all the light workers and star seeds to realize that um, that we're not alone, that there's a lot of us. That there are a lot of us and there's more of us waking up every single day and that it's becoming easier, easier and safer to have these conversations out in the open. Um, and that the more we do, the more it becomes simply accepted and part of the mainstream. Um, my roommate came home the other day and I can't remember what he said he overheard, but it was something about, I don't know if it was timelines or something, somebody was talking about alternate universes or something and being very serious, you know, in a serious way, um, just out on the bike trail. And my roommate was like, came back and he's like, wow, it's really cool. I heard this. I was like, yeah, you're going to hear, start hearing more and more of that kind of conversation just casually because that's where we're coming to as a collective. It's becoming, it's, it's just becoming something that we can be open about. And then of course, the more that that happens, um, the stronger, the stronger we become, the stronger it becomes. Okay. So just by, you know, just getting out there and getting together, we are definitely changing a lot of energy. That is a lot of energy changing. Okay, so that's one thing. And another thing um, about this is, oh yeah, it's the encouragement. If you are kind of feeling this, that, that um, you know, I, I would really encourage you to, to, you know, there's a lot of things you can do if you don't have that near you, if you don't have um, an opportunity to meet with other starseed light workers, you know, physically minded, um, consider creating your own group and, and getting the ball in motion yourself. It's not that hard. And for anybody who wants, I, I would love to put together some information on just sort of step by step how to start a group. And if you're interested in that, definitely leave a comment below because um, it's something I'm sort of being prompted to do. And I would love to hear your feedback if that is something that, um, you know, that you'd like. It'll probably prompt me to do it sooner rather than later. So, um, so definitely contact me if that is the case for you because I can definitely provide information and materials to make it easy. It does not have to be a hard thing to do. And I tell you, when you just start getting the word out there, it, it, you don't have to spend a lot of energy. It, it mobilizes a lot of people and, and you're going to find that people just magnetically are attracted to, you know, what you're doing, assuming that, assuming that this is something that it really is in alignment for you to, to do. 
Um, I mean, if it's not, then obviously it's not going to happen, but... Um, Okay, so just even just coming together, and if 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 starting a group isn't you know your thing, then then maybe consider like you know keep an eye out for opportunities to meet up with other with others. Um, you know if you've been, you know especially locally, because then we you know those relationships, but any kind of because there's 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 tribes and groups that, um, you know I belong to several sort of different circles that met online. I've got some good friends who might have actually ever not even met in person, and but we are really good friends. So that's the cool thing about living right now, um, that we do have that. And I have some thoughts on technology too, but I think I'll save that for another time. So, I'm kind of feeling like I want to go and get a pen here at some point. Oh, and this is a really cool pen <laughs> that my other roommate gave me. It's a gel pen, <laughs> and he uses it for um, creating highlights in watercolor, but I think I'm going to wait to do that until this is dry. Um, where did my other pen go? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not going to do that. Oh, Let's see what happens. It may be. Let's see what happens if I do it on something wet. Hmm. Something about art, it's very like you experiment, just like life. And sometimes things don't kind of come out very well like you expect. And that's okay because we learn from it. So, oh, and then the other thing about just like it's the activation of, you know, of, of light, of light workers, and that will come forward in um, maybe come forward, it can come forward in career. So, if you're one who is meant to, especially, you know, those who are entrepreneurial, um, that, that maybe those opportunities may be coming forward. Um, but it might not be your career, okay? And I think sometimes there's this tendency to, when we start awakening, to um, really get drawn to certain things like readings and healings and stuff. And absolutely, if you're drawn to it, definitely do it. Um, and if you're drawn to, if you're really, really drawn to, to making it your business, sure, look into it, yeah. And, and actually, I do help people do that, you know, get started um, in business as healers, it, you know, giving the business foundations they need, you know, that, that, that helps them to do it successfully and profitably. But um, don't feel like, I mean, be, be, be careful, because another thing that's coming forward right now is this kind of sense of urgency, this trickster that can kind of prompt you to jump into things really that may not be totally in alignment um, or, you know, to just kind of take you off the path for a bit, okay? So even if you're, you're drawn to certain things, it does not always mean that that's going to be, you know, what you do for a living or sometimes it's built like, you know, there's other things that we do, maybe it's something you're already doing and that you can start bringing energy healing into it. Like, for instance, um, you know, especially if you're a young person and looking at careers, really feel into this because you don't have to be 
like a quote unquote energy healer to be an energy healer, right? We all are energy healers, every one of us, every single one of us, you know, assuming that we are on the healing path. Because um, we're, I mean, everything's energy, right? So I'm thinking particularly, I happen to know that, because I work with business a lot, right? And there is a lot of just need for talents from a lot of areas. I, I look at the trades. The trades are screening for good workers. It's a good living. And I look at something like landscaping, where you're working directly with the land, with plants, with Mother Earth. I'm looking at things like the building trades. And you're working with the built environments, and buildings have each their own, um, you know, their own spirit. The energy in a building, like you all know about feng shui, right? Um, so, like the people that work on buildings, they change the energy of that building, and that that changes, you know, it shifts energy for everybody in it, everybody in it who, you know, and everybody around it, um, the whole neighborhood and the whole city. So, like you can be an electrician you're working really literally with energy um, or a plumber you're working with the element of water within buildings um, you know and fire too because um, you know they, they, they work with the oh the, the flame a lot soldering and all that um, so there's you know if you're working with um, with people in any way, you're working with energy, right? And you can be healing no matter what it, you know, it is. There was a man in our town who was called Phil the Window Washer. He used to, you'd see him just all over downtown washing windows. And that was his career. And he did it for decades. Um, but there's a statue of him. He passed away a couple years ago. There's a statue of him in the downtown area here because he had such good energy that everybody loved him and he changed the energy of the town, the entire city, just doing his day-to-day -day job washing windows. I mean, he was an energy worker of very high caliber. I mean, very, very humble. He, he wouldn't know he was an energy worker. He was a very simple man, but... Um, but very powerful, right? So when I say, you know, we're mobilizing light workers, um, you know, we're mobilizing it, not just coming together and meditating, but I'm talking bringing it down to earth and actually bringing all of these, this, this energy into everything that we do. So it's not anymore, um, you know, distinguishing, you know, we're not drawing a line anymore. And, and that's that's the, that's the, what I'm one of the things I'm being asked to relay is like it's time to stop drawing a line between energy work and everything else because it's freaking all energy work it's all energy work okay and and sometimes the most mundane things are the ones that have the biggest impact right so there's like you know um, it's really important not to be putting these artificial judgments, even if we don't even realize the judgments, um, it, it's like on, on, you know, this judgment on whether this work is, um, you know, the, my purpose or not, right? It, it, and, and sometimes we can get very intellectually caught up and hung up on that. Oh, this is, you know, <laughs> this is, my purpose work and this isn't this is my because it can all be okay and i think what makes it's starting to make more sense when i'm starting to feel more and more is no matter what the work is it's you're going to feel the energy of it okay and go by that rather than what the work is feel into that because like just an example a personal example um, I personally am actually moving more into energy work um, 
because it does feel aligned like this channel but what I've been doing for the past 11 years is um, business writing and more and more that's becoming just feeling not so aligned but I tell you what I just took on a new client and 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 lately a lot of the the, the the work I've been doing which I've loved and I really love the work it's just uh, anymore a lot of it it's like I sit down and write and I feel it just I immediately I get this <laughs> like I have this physical I think it's some kind of shaman sickness it's like you can't do this because I, I get the, all this feeling of inflammation in my whole body when I'm doing work that I'm not aligned for it's insane um, but when I'm writing for this particular client it feels good and it feels it flows it feels really good I feel energized by it and it's like okay well technically it's the same work as the, what's killing me right but it's completely different because the energy is different because I'm working with this particular company with this particular client and that's aligned if that makes sense um, so really pay more attention to the feeling than the um, you know than, than what it is you're actually doing if it feels energetically good then that's what you need to be doing uh, no matter what it is and if it's I don't care what it is I mean if it if it feels energetically amazing to you um, you want to be a trash collector that's great because that's absolutely needed you're clearing it's major clearing work right um, and and it's honorable and and I think we're gonna be stepping into a time you know as we step into 3d we're gonna start recognizing that every every career path or job that's contributing to the good of the whole is respectable honorable and you know I think well hopefully we're beginning to get getting past some of these stigmas and kind of ideas that you know oh you know a doctor and lawyer or whatever are better than other 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 careers right and then coming back to the trades especially the trades are very very important um, because our built environment is so important it's an extension of our our physical beings it, it, you know is, is the uh, the houses and the buildings and the neighborhoods and the landscape that were that it, that's a part of us and we're a part of it and uh, so it's it's really something that we as a society need to start really rethinking like how we've been thinking about these um, careers if I tell you if I was a young person and I wasn't sure what to do um, the trades <laughs> it's a lot of opportunity there it pays well and it's good work so just a plug for the trades a lot of them there's like masons there's a real shortage of masons and uh, at least a couple years ago I was aware of like at least one program where they would totally pay you <laughs> to get trained I mean you go through this training program and it was like a paid apprenticeship it was really cool um, so I know there's a lot of young people out there that are struggling and working two jobs and a lot of stuff you know or, or putting themselves in huge debt going to college and coming out with a degree in philosophy or something that I'm not disparaging a great degree in philosophy, but it's, you know, you got to pay the bills and that's important, right? When you get out, uh, at least for now, at some point, maybe hopefully we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll rethink this whole, you know, energy exchange that we call money. But for now, that's, that's kind of the reality. We've got to work with it in order to change it. So... Anyway, this activation, activation of the legions of light, um, you know, wherever you are,
coming together is big. When light workers get up, come get together, magic happens. It really does. And so whatever you can do to make it a point to start really connecting with other, other light workers. Very important right now. And especially because there's going to be, and I think there already is, you know, a, a backlash. So I think the more we can, more territory we can take right away, the easier it's going to be, and the less, you know, that's kind of my gut feeling, is that now's the time to kind of advance and grab some territory. Um, that's there would be a back, backlash, and you know, that may not be so much social as energetic. Um, it may be some social, but I think it'll be more either energetic or political. I'm not, I'm not really thinking necessarily that there's going to be a lot of violence against light workers per se, but it's more of a, you know, political stuff happening and um, backlash really being a global kind of trying to keep the power back in, in, in the, the three D, you know, hands of those who are in control. So the more we band together and pool our energies together and activate each other, the more that's going to be, you know, the harder it is for um, forces of the anti-light to, you know, gain the ter any kind of territory back. So coming together is big and mobilizing. So when I say mobilizing, Sometimes that means, and, and lately I think really it means like just really kind of holding the intention, taking the day-to-day -day actions, um, but not trying to force it because that often tends to send the wheel going backwards. <laughs> so it's this real balancing act. Um, you know, set and I, I would say really focus on foundations. What needs to happen next for your goal to take place and, and not trying to make big leaps at once because things are being set in motion big time. And when we start trying to jump the gun, that's when we just really make things hard for ourselves. Um, and it feels like there's this light behind Michael here. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of feeling like there's gotta be about, it's calling for more light. Let's put more light in there. Oh, that's a bit bright. <laughs> cool. What I had in mind. Let's try this. There we go. Yeah, so, where was I? <laughs> but yeah, this the sense of a kind of a a backlash, resistance, whatever. It's it's nothing to be freaked out about. It's just the the way things are, right? And again, the more we can come together, we help each other. Okay, there's checks and balances that we can do for each other because what the stuff likes to do is get us off balance, get us doubting ourselves, right? And one thing lightworkers are really good at doing is affirming each other. Um, so we need that. Uh, if you see somebody that just seems down or something, um, you know, you don't have to pry or anything, but but just give them a smile, send them some good energy, like you know, if you know them, check up on each other, or if you see, if you, especially if you have a good friend or something that just seems like they're they're just like they their energy isn't right, ask them, say hey, look, you know, I'm sort of feeling like you seem kind of um, 
like your energy seems like a little off what's what's up what's up with you what's going on and um you know there's you can say it in a way that's not like confrontational um it's more like you know hey i'm, I'm a little concerned because i'm feeling some funny energy around you you know is there anything up that you'd want to share with me or talk about or you know i'm just here for you if you need me um that kind of approach so uh, oh, yeah, and the other thing about this whole thing of activating the, the legions of light is that it's really, really important more now than ever before. It's always important, but to stay vigilant um, because there are trickster energies afoot. And um, it, it's like staying aware is really, really important. Um, like personally, <laughs> I had a couple, couple separate incidents last week where I had opportunity <laughs> And, and just, it slipped right between my fingers, both of them. And, and for me, it was like a financial thing. It was like, um, it was basically several thousand dollars of lost opportunity between these two things. Um, and it was really just like, it, it, it was just easy stuff that I could have been doing that, I don't know if I already said this, I have this feeling of deja vu, so <laughs> excuse me if I already said this. When you're painting, you get sort of in a trance and it's, Kind of hard sometimes to do the the verbalization as well but um but anyway i'll, I'll you know and i i kind of knew at the time it's like oh i need to do this and then i just allowed myself to get distracted and just it never get done in both instances and in both instances it was because i hadn't acted on what i really knew i should be doing that um i lost the opportunity it, you know, uh, slipped, slipped past. And, um, but the thing was, you know, I, I'm sending gratitude to it because what it's showing me, like if you do end up with a lost opportunity, just keep in mind that whatever opportunity you lost, whatever the degree of that was, that's what's shaping up for you energetically. That's the kind of thing that is actually shaping up for you. And that if you don't allow it to derail you, that, you know, if you missed it this time, the universe is going to just going to line up something, you know, of that same caliber for you again. But the thing is, it's, it's, it's really okay. So you had a lesson, but don't let that lesson, <laughs> you know, take you down so that you have to learn the lesson before it again, right? So just maintain the focus, you know, keep focusing, get back to, get back right back on the horse and keep riding because it, that's what it's, it's lining up for you. And next time, if you stay aware or maintain your awareness or, or, you know, follow through with the lesson that you're supposed to have learned, then it will actually come through for you. So, um, so if that happens, if something like that happens, if you've got a missed opportunity or whatever it was, maybe it was a, a job interview that got lined up that, you know, that you interviewed and you came in second or something and it didn't pan out. Well, that's okay because the universe is lining up something similar or even better for you. But your job is to stay the course and, um, you know, keep, keep focusing on that what you want that you know that you or better and don't let it um discourage you that that it didn't pan out this time because that lost opportunity is just showing you you know um that 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 you're ready for that kind of opportunity and it will happen as long as you stay aligned and focused with it And then lastly, with this whole legions of light, um, I'm getting it's it's even more important to, I mean, it's always important, but right now, um, really, you know, step up the prayer and the meditation because we are completely, like right now is an amazing time for manifesting it. That includes calling on our, um, you know, our spirit guides, our guides, our allies, our angels, um, they're super, super available to us right now and um, daily, like really calling on them and calling their energy in is really, really going to amplify things um, when we start doing that. And especially if we can start doing that 
uh, together in in groups of us uh, that's that's really gonna amp up the energy even more so just just an encouragement um, if you haven't been really daily um, good time to start and if you have don't stop <laughs> even step it up if you can because uh, this is like a really important time right now for for mobilizing um, you know the forces of light and here's Michael he's just really just calling us to action calling us saying hey it's time it's time it's time so that I think there's gonna be a lot of people waking up um, starting about now and over the next few months a lot of people waking up because they're gonna as we mobilize as we get this energy rolling it's it's waking people up big time and uh, so there's gonna be new new oops, new groups of people waking up and they're gonna need those who have already you know gone further along on the path to 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 help them because because um, you know, these people are going to be waking up into a whole different scenario than a lot of us did who woke up a little bit earlier. It's going to be easier for them. It's going to be more accepted. It's going to be more accessible. And um, so definitely um, it, we're going to see some big changes coming up, especially, you know, starting this year. Great, great changes and a lot of looking for just beautiful they're all gonna be beautiful it might not be easy but <laughs> it's beautiful changes right so I'm gonna call that good enough it's just a sketchy sketchy thing with Michael but this is the call it's the clarion call right now right now Time to mobilize, come together, and start singing together. Start making music together, start making a joyful noise, right? It's okay now, we can start being visible. We can start being openly joyful. New music is coming in, babe. I'm feeling somebody out there might be starting a band or a choir or something or joining one or somehow using their voice as a tool for awakening. Okay. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Always, I really love your comments. Try to answer every single one of them. And appreciate your likes, subscribes, all that. Love you so much, all of you. Thanks for all your support, all your energy. Have a lovely night. I'll catch you again soon.